Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Stephanie and these are the 2019 Bookish Academy Award nominations for Best Drama Series. As I said, these are the best drama series I eat. Uh, in turn has to be a duet or three or more book series. Alrighty, so the criteria for this is that I had to read this series in 2019. I had to have given this book uh, that I'm nominating or the series a five star rating or 4.5 to five star rating. And I had to have really enjoyed the series as a whole. No lagging books in this one. Alrighty, so the January nomination goes to Unscripted and Perfectly Scripted by Christy Pastore. This is a story that deals with PTSD. It does have some content warning for sexual abuse, but overall it is a story that is absolutely amazing. You have two characters that are dealing with different sort of takes on life. One happens to be a former celebrity uh in the hollywood sort of scene the other is finding their way in real estate and the two of them sort of end up coming together uh due to mutual friends amazing such a good emotional series and i love them love them for the February nomination, I'm giving it to Lust, which is Elite 7 number 1 by Kerr Duque. This story starts you off into a series that is so mind-blowing, so twisty, and so crazy. The other books are written by six other authors, as well as a co-write for Kerr Duque and Kay Webster for the seventh book. And all of these authors end up giving this series a twisted sort of spice to it and I was here for it and this first book is the one that started me on that journey and I loved every single moment of it. The March nomination goes to The Prince and the Player as well as the second part of A Player for a Princess by Tia Louise. I listened to this a book uh, as our the series, this duet, as an audiobook, and I was completely drawn into it. It is about four characters. Two of them happen to be con artists, two of them happen to be uh, royalty, and you get to see how they sort of interact. One is supposed to be um, betrothed to the other, and then there's this mix max swap swapping thing that goes along and i was so here for it completely drawn in there is some romantic suspense that goes along in the story as well and yes yes totally engaging the april nomination goes to hookshot which is hoops number three by kennedy ryan and this story touches me personally i absolutely enjoyed it i related to it personally um something about uh this story just resonates with me and the characters are absolutely amazing you have an older nba player who is looking to possibly retire and a woman that is spiritual and deals with some different uh family history and things that happened in her life and i was just yes so many s's and then this whole entire hoop series is absolutely amazing. So, yeah. Even though this book can be read as a standalone, it is part of the series because you get a whole lot of other characters from Kennedy's series in this story. The main nomination goes to the Cruel series by K.A. Lindy. Uh, in May, I read Cruel Money and Cruel Fortune. I did end up finishing the series. The series is cruel intentions um set in new york and yumminess uh, you have a female that ends up writing a story or an expose about the people that she ends up meeting she has a one night stand in paris with this rich guy and come to find out you know she ends up house sitting for him as well further down the line and yes cruel intentions gossip girl if you're all about that you're going to enjoy this series. 
The June nomination goes to Indefinite, which is Indefinite number one by Corinne Michaels, as well as the July nomination goes to Infinite, which is Indefinite number two by Corinne Michaels. This is a duet. Both books ended up on this list because they are absolutely amazing. It finishes off the Salvation series. Um, well, not really finishes off the Salvation series because we have now been told that there's going to be a Salvation Society, which is going to be books written within this world of the Salvation series. But these two books right here are absolutely amazing because it's a story that we had been wanting. It's Quinn and Ashton's story. And there's some romantic suspense that goes along with it. There's some groveling. If you like grovel, these two spot on. So good. So very good. Um, and you get to see sort of a, a push and a pull between these two characters. And duet is amazing. The August nomination goes to Bound, which is Tangled Web, number three by Alethea Romig. And the other books in the series are good, but this one specifically really rounds off this series in a way that I did not see coming. There were so many times within this book for the series, I was like, okay, we're getting, we got our resolution. Oh, no, 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 no. You're only at 25%, Stephanie. What? I have 75% more to go? continue reading and then I'm like okay we're getting our resolution oh no 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 Stephanie you're only at 55 percent there is more to go um and by the end of this book I was like this is absolutely amazing so good so many twists so many turns so much goodness within this story that is just absolutely amazing the October the September nomination goes to Love on Lexington Lane, which is Central Park Pack number two by Lauren Lane. And this is the second book in this book, in this series. I said that already. But the reason I love this one so much, um, I enjoyed the first book where you meet these ladies that are centered around or become friends because of a douchebag, uh husband and mister or mistress uh, no they're mistresses but a guy that's a douche that's a douchebag um and these are the stories of the ladies but this story in particular is about the wife of that douchebag and how she starts to sort of find herself and become more really get into her independence and things like that um loved it loved it you have a gruff contractor that you just love right off the bat. I loved him right off the bat. And just, I love their banter between each other. And yes, I can't wait to get to the third book in the series because I'm pretty sure that is going to be a good time as well. The October nomination goes to Girl in Love and Boy in Love by Jay Crownover and Rebecca Yaros. These two books is a duet and you get the the story of a woman that is trying to make her family sort of see her and the guy that she ends up enlisting is a military member so you get to see that aspect of it and you get to see the lengths that it takes for someone to really take care of their family to really take care of themselves and um for that one that you may or may not love and yes so many yeses completely drawn in to this duet and the uh, the november nomination goes to the harris brothers by amy doss challenge endurance keeper surrender dominance ah oh, yes as well as their spin-offs payback strength and blindsided I actually haven't read Blindsided, but the other two, oh, yes. So many yeses. These books are absolutely amazing. I fell into the rabbit hole of the Harris Brothers and was completely addicted by them and love them all so much. I wish there was more. Um, I would want Amy to continue to write about them because they're all so amazing. It's emotional. There are emotional moments within every single one of these stories. The characters, uh, the couples that end up being in the stories are amazing and yes this whole entire series is just yes it is bingeable and it's so much goodness yes 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 
the December nomination will remain a secret until the live show uh, in January. Let me know if you have read any of the books that I have just talked about, what your feelings are on them. Do you love them as much as I love them? And, you know, go check them out because these series are amazing, 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 amazing. And I hope you guys will take a chance on them. So as always, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, there is a feedback form down in the description box so you guys can help me improve my channel. Thank you for watching and we will see you guys later.